Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're gonna do two crafts that I'm gonna show you you can do. Um, the items for the crafts will be in your student's backpack. Um, I'm gonna give you, for the first one, we're gonna make a heart raccoon. Um, it's gonna be a brown heart, has the body, uh, black eyes shaped as hearts, a black nose, and black ears. Um, I'm not cutting out the hearts. You guys can work on that with your kiddos. That would be a good OT activity, um, working on cutting. Um, you can also work on some tracing with the hearts as well. So the, the, that, that brown paper and black paper will be in your kiddos' backpack. So for that one first, we're gonna go ahead and start. So I like to make a heart by folding my paper in half. So this would be really good if you guys just help your kiddo fold it and then it would be really good for them to take practice taking their pointer finger. Actually, take your whole hand first and kind of you can see how it's like this. Kind of pat it down a little bit. Have them do pat, 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 pat. We do pat, 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 pat a lot with glue. And then take your pointer finger, their pointer finger, and they can rub it. You can help them rub it up to flatten that. So some good OT, some pushing, some pressure on that hand, and then that isolation of that pointer finger. We all work on that. And then, moms and dads, you can do hand over hand with them if you want, or you can go ahead and draw. Um, a lot of the kiddos don't like to hold a utensil of any kind in their hand, so if you help them hold it, you know, um, it's hard to do it by myself, but kind of they might hold it like that, and then you help guide it. But any kind of hand over hand is perfect. So. I would really like if you guys work on it. I know it's not the easiest, and I know a lot of kiddos don't like it and will fight you. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't, but um, try and do the hand over hand and do the heart. So we're gonna go up, around, out, and down. And I know you parents all know how to make a heart, but it's good just for the kiddos to hear what they're supposed to do. Um, and then they can start to understand how a heart is made. So we have our heart, guys. Now we're going to cut it. So um, some of you have scissors that your kiddos can use and some of you don't. So if you don't, go ahead and cut it. If you do have them practice, um, the different lines in a heart are pretty challenging for a lot of the kiddos. A lot of us are still working on just cutting a straight line. So this is great practice and it doesn't have to be perfect. It can, the heart can end up being half this size. Just the practice of making the heart is perfect. So here's our heart and have them, you know, open it a little bit and have them open it all the way. So there's the body. Now I have my black paper over here. So again, I'm gonna fold it and they're gonna pat, 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 pat it down. Then we're gonna take our pointer finger and push. Now I need five hearts here. So this could get a little tricky. And they don't have to be so big because they're going to be the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and make my eyes. And then I'm going to make my ears. Okay. So I got them here. It's harder to see. And I'm going to cut them out. Oh, and sorry, you will also need glue. Oh, and your kiddo's backpack will be your glue. There's one. I don't know what Miss Jamie was thinking. I don't think I was, but that didn't make that didn't make me two hearts like I was thinking it would. Oh. So I'm just tracing this heart, and I'll probably end up having three hearts here. All right. So here is my hearts for my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take this, put some glue on here, excuse me. Again, hand over hand with the glue, perfect practice. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put them sideways. One. And our number we've been working on is two, so this is perfect. Count with your kiddo as you're laying it down. You can also, two, and again, Using pointer fingers, you can go around the heart, you could pat it down with your hands, whatever it is. So we have one, two eyes, and now we need some ears. So 
So again, Miss Jamie wasn't doing this right, but that's all right. She's gonna cut one heart out and go ahead and make a couple more hearts. And this will be perfect because I needed one for my nose. Now I'm gonna have three hearts here and that's how many I need left. So when we're putting on the ears, we can count the ears. When we're putting on the nose, we can count the nose. Lots of good practice. So here, so far are my eyes. And now I'm gonna put on ears up here, but they're gonna go upside down. So again, we're gonna glue. Maybe practice having your kiddo hold the glue in their hand for a couple seconds, You know, maybe count till five and have them practice. Um, and you just need to do the top of the heart because the rest will stick to your table. So one ear, two ears, and now I need a nose that's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna put some glue on it. And I'm gonna, one nose, pat, 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 pat. And now I need some eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use some white paper. I will send a little bit of white paper home as well. Unless you have googly eyes, I do not have any googly eyes at home. But you can make little eyes if you want. Or you can have googly eyes. You can even get a white crayon. I don't have to have a white crayon here, but you could get a white crayon. And you could have practice holding that crayon in your hand. One, two, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a little dot in the middle. There! And there is my heart raccoon. So that's one thing you guys can make. All right, the other one, you'll need some paint. Um, what you will get is this paper. It's got a little poem about going to school. Here's a special thing to do when I'm scared of leaving you. Hold my hand and kiss it here. The kiss will help to keep you near. It will help me through my day so I can work and learn and play. So you guys could even make this for moms and dads because you know what? Sometimes mom and dad get lonely when we go to school and they wonder how we're doing. So you need your hand, a paintbrush, some paint, and if you want a marker. So I'm using the marker because what we're going to do is we're going to paint our whole hand except for a little heart in the middle. So Miss Jamie is just drawing a heart on her hand like that so I can paint around it. You can use any color paint you want. Um, the, the only sheet coming home will be this one. You guys will have to supply the paint and the paintbrush and all that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint around my hand and hope I'm fast enough before it dries. <laughs> all right. Just painting again this is this is another sensory activity a lot of kids don't care for this um, and that's okay e you know even if you just trace their hand and practice um, holding their hand down it's another f fine motor activity pushing on their hand so I got my hand all orange I'm gonna press down pat 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 or you could even have you do your hand and you they could practice painting with the paintbrush and and uh, patting your hand down and there it is you can see my little heart it's kind of messed up but that's all right so that's another activity so those are two things you will have brown paper black paper white paper and then you will have the paper to put your heart on now I didn't get a chance to make the next one but you I'm going to share the recipe with you so you guys are more than welcome to make it um I hear at home didn't have enough flour and but by the time I'm doing this videos it's a little late to run to the store so um, you can make salt dough recipes you'll need two cups of plain flour one cup of salt that's a lot of salt but it works one and a half to three-fourths cup of water you want to make sure that you add the water kind of slowly so you don't want the dough to get too runny then you need parchment paper a rolling pin and then a straw so those are the items you will need 
You'll preheat the oven to 200. You'll mix the flour and the salt in a large bowl. Add water slowly and mix using a whisk or a mixing spoon. Knead the dough with hands until smooth, should not be sticky or wet. Okay. Once smooth, roll it out to one quarter inch thick on parchment paper. Use cookie cutters if you want. You can make anything out of your hands. A cool one to do is um, make your heart and you can put your thumbprint or your fingerprint in or you could just make circles and use your thumbs to make a heart within. Um, and then if you think you want to hang these up later, you put a straw through the top of it before you cook it, okay? And you can make anything. The, the thought was to make a heart out of these um, since we're doing the kissing hand and it's all about the hearts. And then here's the long part. You're gonna bake for two to three hours until the dough is thoroughly dried out. And then when, you're, when it's all dry, you can paint it however, decorate it however you want. Um, they do suggest acrylic paint because it stays better. You could spray it after if you want it to stay, if you think you're gonna hang it outside. But that is another activity you could do for this. So, um, I'm gonna have some math activities next some gross motor stuff. And remember with all this that you do, you wanna use language all the time. Talk about what you're doing, um, point to what you're doing, have them point if you see something that is noticeable. Um, you know, maybe um, you do the hand first and talk about it and then have them do it and you know talk about it. So anything to get that language in there. So sorry for the long video and I'll see you later, bye.